NIA VTEC Sport Level 2. Today we're going to be looking at the Illinois Agility Run Test. This is a fitness test that tests your agility and can also be used to test speed. I've got my colleague with me, Mr. Woodger, here today, who's going to be going through the test. Now, first of all, the equipment that you need for this, you need a tape measure because you need to mark up accurately um, the course circuit. You also need some cones to be able to place down and you also need a stopwatch, which I have with me here today as well. So, first of all, the protocol of this test, as you can see, we've marked up the Illinois Agility Run. You need to start off just here. You'll be running up the first few cone around the outside, the blue cone, in and out of all of the blue cone, and then back in and out again. Once you get back down here, you'll need to run to the far pin cone, and then back to the finish line. To start the test, you need to be laying flat down, just behind the start line, and your hands need to be shoulder width apart, just not touching the ground. I'm going to count down from three when I shout go, you need to run to the first cone. Three, two, one, go. Here, Mr. Wood, I'll be able to tell you your results. So, 18.5 seconds. Okay, so the test is measured in seconds. Um, the advantages of this test it is really easy to set out. All you need is some basic equipment. The disadvantage of this is that you cannot tell whether the performer is better at turning right or left. Um, the validity of this test is fantastic in terms of um, it's very accurate for different um, sports performers that use agility. So for a footballer who's trying to um, dodge an opponent by using agility to change direction and speed, or a rugby player who's trying to avoid a tackle. We can see that through the middle part of the course. Um, the reliability of this test can be affected through the footwear and also the surface. If we were to do this test outside, um, then the results may be changed. 